CataractCoach.com. Anterior zoner attachment. How can you do the calf thoraxes like this? This is a very unusual case that I did recently. Now, the patient has a very tiny eye, 20 millimeter axial length. We're going to put in a 30 diopter lens. But look carefully, and let me zoom in and show you, there are xylar attachments, very anterior. That pupil is only about 5 millimeters, and you've got xylar attachments going in much closer than that, even as close as maybe a diameter of like 3.5 millimeters. So there's so many xylar attachments there. What are you going to do? How do you get the rexus? Should you use a femto, a zepto, a fancy device? You know what? I think we can still do this with the forceps. So we got about a five and a half millimeter pupil poking in the lens caps and watch carefully as I do the rexus. I just am able to pull through the azonular attachments. Now they give some resistance, look right there. And as I do it, so I think you can really just pl power through this. The azonular attachments are not all the azonular support of the eye. So this is just some of them. And whatever reason, this patient has this genetic anomaly and ended up like this developmental anomaly. And so we're still able to get the rexes done, but this is something unusual, anterior insertion or attachment of the xylar fibers on the anterior lens capsule, right? Normally they're all clustered right around the lens capsule bag equator. So normally you've got at least seven, if not eight millimeters of anterior lens capsule with no xylar attachments. Here, that central zone was maybe like three and a half millimeters. But as you can see, you're still able to complete the rexus. Now look at some of those lines. There's still some attached zonular fibers there. Some of them, they're kind of just, you know, all over the eye. Let's go to the end of the case here. Now you can see it looks pretty clean. I need to definitely enlarge the incision. This is a 30 diopter IOL. And the rest of the eye was kind of still unusual. I felt there was good, strong zonular support during the cataract surgery, so no issue there. But again, it's a small eye. The patient's like a plus five or six hype rope to begin with, you know, prior to cataract surgery. And again, we're putting a 30 diopter lens, and that's why we've enlarged the incision here. So we'll finish up the case here by getting that lens in the eye. Now, this is an unusual condition. You always got to remember, when you're doing surgery for patients, it's not just our beautiful surgical technique that matters, right? It also depends on patient anatomy and patient healing, and so in this case, you have very unusual anatomy. We've enlarged the incision. Even then, it's a little tight fit here. We have to use a larger cartridge with the injector because the lens is so thick. With a 30 diopter lens, it's probably at least 50% thicker than a 20 diopter lens. So as a result, getting it inside the eye is going to require a little bit larger incision. And now getting that uh, rotated around here, and this is a toric version of a trifocal lens. So we'll get that lined up appropriately and get that... Um, Send it up with the patient's visual axis. And you can see there's a good looking rexus here. No need for a catheter, tension ring, or anything else. The patient's going to do just fine. And so, again, an unusual case here. Now, I haven't seen too many cases of this anterior zonular attachment. To me, it's certainly less than one in a thousand for my career. But again, you have to be prepared for everything. And, you know, at the slit lamp ahead of time before surgery, we didn't see it as well because the patient really was poorly dilating in the clinic. But then again, in the clinic, we only give one set of dilating drops of 1% tropicamide and 2.5% phenylephrine. But in the surgery center, the patient is getting three sets of those same drops. And sometimes, like in this case with a smaller pupil, even getting 10% phenylephrine to really get that maximum dilation. And here at the end of the case, again, a very odd eye here. Just inflating the eye with the um, BSS and sealing up that temporal incision. And we'll get that positioned appropriately. Have you seen this anterior insertion of zonal fibers, that anterior? Again, go look at that title picture and you can see again, but it really is quite anterior. Unusual case for me. So always remember, you tell your patients, yes, I'll give you my very best surgery. And please, you give me your very best healing. And hopefully you have great anatomy too. Thanks for watching.